y'all. It is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I am going to repot these um, two um, orchids I got from Tony. It's a tiny jungle and a uh, really, really great couple of orchids, you guys. These guys are so cute. So, so cute. <clears throat> I uh, was tickled after I looked this one up. <laughs> like I said, it was a new one. Um, I hadn't ever heard of um, this little carry eye. That's very cute. And I keep wanting to call it Hoya carry eye, like a goober. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's Catleya carry eye. Yes, Catleya carry eye. And um, I'll put you a picture. Um, put you a picture up of her and how cute she is and um but right now i want to get these guys in um they've been soaking all night in the cocktail i wound up just leaving them they really they weren't in bad shape or nothing like that so it wasn't like real necessary but i tell y'all I, I went to the pool and i went swimming <laughs> because it was so freaking hot and um me and my husband got out of the pool, and then we came in, just crashed, went to bed. So, it was like, oops, well, guess what? You guys got to soak all night. It will never hurt a thing. Never hurt a thing. I let ones that are in bad shape soak overnight. So, the only thing I can say is, as well, that was probably just a, quite a boost for her. That's, you know, <laughs> that's what I think about that. Yeah, I, it shouldn't, it's not going to hurt a thing. Never hurt a thing. It would actually be better for this plant seriously so get her out of there nice new roots on this little seedling very few dead ones right there was the dead little mass of um roots and the um little clumps of the dead little seedling pieces too that died so yeah that wasn't hard at all pull her up out of that little pot now, I am debating, though, um, this is a little bit bigger than a, um, got his gnats around here again. I got him. Ha! Killed him. Um, yeah, these are a little bit bigger than three inch, um, but it might be all right. It might, it, because the only other thing I got is, like, let me see. Let me get another. Let me get a regular three inch. Um, I don't have any, guys. Guess what? <laughs> so, let me. Yeah, hang tight. Let me look, see if I have a dirty pot um, that I can clean up. Do a. Um, do a bleach clean on one because I just think this is this is oversized. This is going to be good for this one, but for this one, I don't think so. So hang tight and I will be right back. Hey y'all, my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. All right, y'all, we are back. I did, I cleaned this one up with bleach. And as you can see, it's definitely a better fit. It's She's got plenty of room to grow in this um, actual 3-inch pot instead of a... That one's like really kind of closer to a four so yeah I don't want to overdo it I want her to have plenty of room to grow but I don't want to overdo it either I don't want to I don't want her to stay too wet you know for her roots and that kind of thing so we'll get her positioned in here we are using um, Orchid Supply Store Media we have um, well it's my treated coconut husk chunks we have um, we're using that fur bark that he just sent me and we are using charcoal 
popcorn perlite and um, calcium uh, oyster shell. We are using a little bit of a concoction of it all just because it's pretty good mix I think so ouch that um, fur bark is prickly <laughs> it really is that's what I just screamed ouch for because it splintered me um, it gets stuck to your skin and then all you know all you can do is scream ouch <laughs> yep that's all I do when I um, use a cup that I have used before on something else I just use a bleach solution to wash it it's usually just fine turns out you know it's usually just enough to kill any virus or anything or you know anything that might be going on in that cup um, so <clears throat> all right there is the pretty carry eye um, and Carrie you need one of those since it's uh, named after you you said you liked my Hoya carry eye so there you go now we got um, Catlea carry eye <laughs> so I'm gonna use the water that she was sitting in just to wet her media and let that soak in a little bit all right and then we're gonna do the same thing to this cute little girl here it's Richard Mueller cross great 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 roots on this one look at those roots I probably had you all completely up against the um, this um, ball this um, ball of uh, Lekka is not going to come off I thought maybe after it soaked all night it would maybe come off but it is really stuck to her so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find my scissors either pair of them <clears throat> found my small ones that'll work uh, so we're gonna have to cut this off being extremely careful because these roots have rolled around there on the inside of this cup ouch but yes we got to cut this off and that's okay sometimes that happens I'm not a, a big fan of the net pots anyway honestly um, there we go. All right, we have to cut near this root here to get her to let go. Oop. There's actually a root there. Whew, it's hot in here today, you guys. Really, really hot. I am sweating. It's time to go back and get in the pool. <laughs> oh, but there it came right off. <laughs> it rolled out me trying to get this off of here. That's funny. All right, now if we can get this big root to come back through here, we are good to go. Which it would have been hard to roll that one through um, through that pot anyway, because uh, even if I'd have got that out of there, that was a big root that was kind of branched and everything, so it would have been hard to maneuver it back through that net pot. <laughs> So get that out of the way and now let's look at her closer remove this uh, sheath of stuff and 
we're going to take this curled root, face it downward. This root is attached to dead roots, so it's going to go. This uh, is attached to dead roots, so it's going to go. Now, most, most all of these seedling roots are dead. And I am going to take them off. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But in this aspect, I'm going to because look at all them brand new roots she has. Those are all absolutely phenomenal roots. So we don't need those for stability. We've got all of these for stability. So scoop them out of the way. And <clears throat> Now, I am going to use this bigger pot because this plant is obviously vigorous. It's a Richard Mueller type, so this is why it has a bunch of roots. <laughs> that is just par the course for uh, Richard Mueller types. Um, I am thinking, though, I, I really hate to put it in a netted pot again, but again, I don't have... I guess I don't have any choice so I know what's gonna happen those roots are just gonna come out of there in droves because <laughs> like I said Richard Mueller types are very vigorous they're very um, hardy they put out a lot of roots they grow really fast um, they just uh, Richard Mueller types are very hardy very hardy so yeah you don't have too much of an issue with them catching up or, you know, really they don't fall behind much. <laughs> that's, that's the honest truth. These guys are really hardy, really. So, shouldn't even skip a beat and um, looks really good. And find a tag right here. And there we go. Clean this little mess up a little bit. And both of those guys got potted. Yay, they're ready to go. See, and a lot of people ask me that. They're like, how long do you leave a plant, you know? And um, honestly, my opinion is, is I try not to leave them very long if I know that I'm going to change their media at all. Um, because my theory is, is don't leave it set for two or three months. Let it acclimate to your environment because what acclimation you have just achieved in repot, you're going to, you're going to mess it up again. You're going to, um, you know, you're going to pull it out of its pot. You're going to mess with its roots and everything. So you're going to set it back. Again, in two to three months, I'd rather the next day, <laughs> you know, do what I'm going to do. Then that way I can leave it alone for the next years. You see what I mean? So I don't, I don't personally see a, a let it acclimate to your environment theory because I don't want to keep messing with this plant and setting it back. You know, you'd never know. If, if whenever you're messing with them, that you're going to set them back. So the best thing to do is just get it done, get it over with, and then you know you won't be touching that plant for another two years, maybe. Three years, possibly. You know, it just depends. So I, I really, that's, that's my thinking on it. You know what I mean? And everybody's different, and you can do it however you like. You know what I mean? It's, it's not set in stone. You know, you don't have to do it that way. Um, it's just my opinion, you know, I don't want to in a month or two mess with that plant again and, and reset it back a little bit. I want this plant to jump forward as much as it can, as quickly as it can in the time that it's going to be, you know, that it's here and that it's, you know, um, potted up. So I'd rather it have its jump start now and I won't have to touch this plant again for two to three years. 
So, hope that makes sense to y'all. But, yeah, I don't, uh, if I know that I'm going to do it, you know, I feel it's best to get it done, get it out of the way as well. That way, you know, now they can settle in. Now they've been repotted. They can settle in. I won't mess with them anymore. The only thing they're going to get is love and attention from here on out. You know, fed and uh, love and feed and took care of and that's it. So, yeah. So, anyways, that is my little repotting um, of these guys. And if y'all have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.